Hello everyone, it's the uh, Chief back here again doing my first video since being back from BotCon and what an experience it was. I mean it was really really something that I'll definitely remember and I'm definitely going to try and come back next year to BotCon depending on, on where it is, getting tickets, kids and etc etc. But yeah, um, coming from a, a very nice sunny day today. Um, which is a bit bit rare, especially uh, I think since I've come back from um, the States, uh, I've only had really two or three good days of sunshine compared to when I was over in, in, in Pasadena in LA, where we simply every single day was a perfect day. So yeah, it's, it's, it's actually nice to get some good weather because uh, I think summer this year has been really, really sh shit so far. Um, but uh, yeah, this, as you can see above my head there, is all about my BotCon haul. I, I, mean, I don't really do haul videos. I mean, I did one two years ago and I thought, eh, whatever. So I, I pretty much stopped doing the haul video things. But I ha until I've actually put my entire um, purchase together, it's actually quite impressive what I actually did buy. Um, I wish I could have bought more. Two reasons why I didn't. Um, number one, I was limited to, to space. Uh, what I pre pretty much what I had to do was I had to dump a load of my things at the hotel. So things like, um, you know, toiletries, um, towels, uh, a few t-shirts, just plain t-shirts. Um, I just bin them in the end, just simply to make room. Luckily, my wife and her sister-in-law helped me put a few things in their bags as well so I did get some things over and for uh, they didn't all make it perfectly across some things were crease crushed and whatnot but overall they're in a in, in pretty good nick um and uh, well and the second reason was because of the extortionate prices at Botcon I mean you could if you really wanted to you know, uh, put a lot of effort in to find some real good bargains, and there were some real good bargains there. Um, however, overall, everything was just so so overpriced. Uh, I mean, what you had was dealers buying stuff from uh, the Hasbro stands themselves, taking it to their own stands and doubling the price, which which it, you know, it <laughs> it's just not on. And that day, they they're, they're going to be stuck with them anyway. Uh, but mainly because uh, I know why I wanted to buy more was because the, the price difference between what we pay here in the UK compared to what we pay to what they pay over in the States you know there, there is a huge savings practically you buy three figures in the UK for the same price as buying two figures over there so it's pretty much you know buy buy three get one free um, so I wish I'd got some more but anyhow on with the uh, less of me and more of that and I'll show you exactly what I bought whilst I was over there so big screenshot there uh, come on focus that's it uh, of what I bought um, starting from the left side there let's come on let's have a look at that uh, Mechtech uh, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee um, Perceptor Reveal the Shield I got the uh, Starscream uh, Top Spin so Roadbuster uh, and Skids, um, all the Dark of the Moon stuff there. Also picked up um, now that one I didn't actually buy in uh, in the states. I bought that when I when I flew back to the UK. I had to go from London, travel up I don't know two hundred odd miles up to Newcastle, and then I travel three hundred odd miles back down to where I live. In the southwest, so yeah, um, bit of a journey, but in our local supermarket that I was on offer, so I bought that as well. Uh, I picked up a Grimlock, which I was going to get to get uh, Greg Berger to sign, but by the time I actually purchased him, he'd gone off to do a panel, so that was a bit of a waste. But he's coming over to the UK to auto assembly, so I may get him to sign that one over there as well. We also have Leader Class Sentinel Prime, which uh, he does look very nice. 
Um, I was going to get the Bumblebee figure, um, but I hate Bumblebee. Uh, they're just so many Bumblebees, so I decided to go for the Central Prime instead. A uh, little iron hide there. Um, of course, the, the big buck concept. Uh, I've still yet to uh, examine the figures, so uh, I'll do that at some point. As, as most people know, I'm a keep it in the box kind of guy, so uh, I tend to just buy them and, and then stick them to the side. Um, slightly crushed uh, Rodimus, minor, animated. Um, animated Sunstorm with the little uh, activator ratchet. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the uh, Chops Rule and Soundwave. So those were uh, my... Oh, also got this guy, um, which I gave to my kids because I've already got one as well. But in order to purchase Perceptor, I had to buy this as well at the Percept at the uh, Hasbro stand. So, yeah. So those those were my box pieces. Picked up a few loose pieces as well. Picked up a Retgar. Um, which is, uh, I do actually like him a lot. I do actually like him a lot. I might get my G1 to see if you can actually ride each other or not. Um, also picked up the uh, extras, so I've got the Toxitron and Sideswipe. I got the uh, Freebie Physitron there, Physitron, and the Freebie uh, Creo Prime, Toxins Prime. Picked up the uh, Blur figure uh, from, uh, is it Amara? Yeah, I think it's Amara. And uh, what's his name? Not long arm. Is it long arm? I can't remember what his name is. Uh, Galvatron Thundercracker. The very garish um, thunder <laughs> uh, Thundercracker there. Picked up another G1 Devastator. Um, and I picked up this guy as well, who for the life of me, I can't remember his name. So... Uh, So if anyone can identify this figure for me, please do so. Uh, I picked him up for a dollar, basically. Uh, I was walking around, saw him, dollar, I'll take it. Um, yeah, and that's that's my haul. So uh, hopefully I will be breaking into some of these figures, I reckon, because it's, it's about time we're going to start uh, doing so, just purely um, to get rid of the boxes because I'm running out of room fast and quickly uh, fast and quickly anyway anyway yeah so uh, this is the chief just doing a whole video hope you enjoyed it stay tuned we'll be doing a, a lot more videos I've 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 known I've I looked back at my YouTube videos and from doing loads and loads and loads like two or three a week I've now doing one or two a month uh, so yeah I've really really got to start doing some videos um, now that my little one is now a year old, uh, it basically gives me a, a bit more time. Um, so I'm not always changing nappies and wiping up puke and, and all sorts. So uh, yeah, so I will eventually try and do a lot more reviews. So this is The Chief. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Catch you later. Logging off for now.